Flow Science's Bag In, Bag Out Bebo Filter Change Procedure. Filters should be replaced if any of the following conditions exist. A, your preventative maintenance program dictates. B, the filter integrity becomes compromised. C, filter no longer contains elements being filtered. D, an acceptable face velocity is no longer attainable. E, pressure drop across the filter has doubled since installation. F, after five years of use. G, if the filter is more than 10 years old, in addition to stocked and stored in inventory, this is the maximum length of time recommended and assumes that filters are stored in their original packaging in a dry climate controlled area and not subjected to extremes in temperature or humidity. Persons removing the filter must wear appropriate personnel protective equipment. As a minimum, the following PPE should be worn during filter replacement. Safety goggles, disposable dust mist respirator, apron lab coat, and gloves. Have the appropriate tools ready prior to beginning filter replacement. The additional tools required should include heavy duty scissors, small flathead screwdriver, eighth inch hex Allen wrench. Replacement kit contents include new HEPA filter, new Bebo bag, waste label, zip tie tool, zip ties, tape, Bebo change out manual, and waste disposal bag. Removal of filter, bag out. One. Prior to starting operations, ensure all personnel involved on the appropriate PPE, dust mask, gloves, lab coats, eye covering, etc. Two, ensure the enclosure interior has been cleaned and that the plenum panels are installed. Flow Sciences recommends that the fan is left on during change out procedures. However, if it is desirable to shut the fan down, ensure fan has been running 10 to 15 minutes after enclosure cleaning operations prior to shutdown. Additionally, if the unit is connected to house exhaust via thimble, the unit must be isolated from the external airflow. Three. Using the 8th inch hex wrench, gain access to the spring-loaded primary filter hold-down levers by opening their access covers. Note, for dual HEPA filter housings, an additional cover panel is located in the center of the housing. This is secured by the same style hex bolts. 4. Release filter by lifting cam latches. Five. Remove the filter cover by unsnapping the latches on the ends. Six, extend the existing filter change out disposal bag. Seven, using the integrated arm sleeves in the existing filter change-out disposal bag, grab the handle on the primary filter and slightly raise the filter to allow the gasketing material to separate from its seat. With the primary filter loose, withdraw the old filter into the bag. Maneuver the filter until it is placed on the floor inside of the change-out disposal bag. Eight. Carefully rotate the bag and filter to create a cinch point in the Bebo bag with ties between the filter and the enclosure. The cinch point should be as close to the enclosure as possible without putting a strain on the connection to the enclosure. Then cinch the bag again within three inches of the first tie. Nine. Cut two short strips of tape and place them close by. Ten, secure a zip tie at one end of the cinched portion of the bag. Use the zip tie tool to fully tighten and cut off excess tie. Repeat the process with second zip tie two to three inches from the first zip tie. 11. 
securely tape the cinched area between and slightly beyond the two zip ties, ensuring that the ties are covered with tape. Twelve, cut the bag at the taped area between the two zip ties. Seal the cut ends with the two small pieces of tape previously cut. Place the bagged out filter to one side. Installation of new filter, bag in. One, thoroughly inspect the new Bebo bag and filter for any damage. Two, insert new filter into bag with handle towards sealed end of Bebo bag. Three, remove restraining strap from flange on Bebo housing and carefully slide elastic bead of old bag to the front of the flange. Four, install new bag over the top of the old bag and slide the elastic bead of the new bag to the rear of the flange. Secure the new bag with the restraining strap. There should be sufficient space to allow the restraining strap to be installed between the two elastic beads. Five, carefully pull remnants of old bag into new bag. Six, using one of the integrated gloves, the old bag can be bagged out by adopting a similar technique as used for the filter bag out process. Seven, carefully maneuver new filter up bag and into Bebo housing. As this is one of the most critical steps to prevent damage to the new bag, seek additional help if needed.
Eight, ensure the filter is fully seated in the Bebo housing. Secure by rotating the cam latches to clamp the filter. 9. Roll Bebo bag up and under and insert into flange. Reinstall front cover. 10. Reinstall side covers and secure with hex bolts. 11. Place the old filter and old bag remnant in the supplied waste bag. Secure with a zip tie. Affix the supplied hazard waste label and dispose of the filter and components per local and facility requirements. Twelve. Filter changeout procedure is complete. Re-establish correct face velocity with new filter installed. The alarm should be calibrated and airflow reset to meet your safety department requirements.